What's going on, everybody? Blake and Jeff here on Blake. He's Jeff, and we are watching episode 16 of Code Geass Season 2. We are coming down the home stretch. Yeah, more than halfway through the second season, about three quarters of the way through the entire thing. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, last time we had, uh, well, he took on the Emperor. <sighs> yes, he did. Thought he killed his ass. Yeah. He was wrong. Wrong. That bitch immortal. He took V2's power. Correct. And uh, what else happened? We learned C2 wants to die. Yeah, we saw, we learned what the contract she had, the terms of the contract were that she had with Lelouch. Mm -hmm. And she wanted Lelouch to kill her and take over her place. Yeah. Which would make him immortal and give him the power to give people geasses. Yep. Um, and so we got to see, it, it, it seems like we got like into her mind palace. Yeah. That's almost what this is, except it's like a mind art gallery. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So he got to see, you know, how she got it. Um, and ultimately... He wasn't going to do it, but then the emperor was going to kill her. And so he decided, no, I'll do that. And then she got away from the emperor, hit something on that pad, like the. Yeah, activate some weird terminal thing, yeah. And then they got transported back out the door. Yeah. But she lost all her memories. Yeah. And. We got Valletta and Ogie were falling off of a cliff into some water, but it looks like they're about to hit a rock. Correct. So both of them are obviously going to die. So they're both dead. Never. And then we also had a little glimpse of the uh, Democles, which was Nina's atomic bomb. <sighs> yes. So yeah. That, something tells me that's going to come into play. Nah, I think they just teased it for no reason whatsoever. Oh, okay. Well, never mind that. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. Um... Okay, let's, uh, let's dive into episode 16. All right. With the Emperor gone, Nanali should be safe for now. The actions which Britannia has taken prove the Emperor is absent. It seems he is truly trapped in the other realm. Though I am concerned about what he said before, I am content simply knowing that Nanali is safe. I'm sorry. Please don't beat me hard again. Her mind is completely reverted. She's now only the yeah, slave girl before Please. the power of the soft. Came. Don't you worry. I would never do anything to harm you at all. Like it's the, the truth. <laughs> I promise you. Very persona. Never played it, so I wouldn't know. Kinoshita. Oh, Captain Osahina. I see. Bloodstains. I'd sure like to know. What was Zero doing? Well, I... Won't say a thing. Uh, I'm so sorry! What the hell does that mean? <laughs> There's no need to apologize! It's either right <laughs> or wrong! You think you can flip on the good guy routine whenever you like? Not when I'm this pissed off! Colin Koski's a soldier, not a sideshow! By ratifying this charter, it will give birth to an alliance that will rival the Holy Britannian Empire. And its name shall be... The United Federation of Nations! Do you think she's forgotten her love of pizza? I brought you some food to eat. Yes. It's called pizza. I think you'd be hungry by now. It's good, isn't it? Oh, yes. yes. It's really, really good. Thought so. Memories that people have are always vague. No point in believing in them. I'd have to disagree with that. But I know it. In my case, I kept a diary from nine years ago. I don't remember anything from it at all. And there's more I don't trust. The data I store doesn't match any memories I have. Could that be it? The Emperor's Gias? Mm -hmm. But why use it on Anya? What do people value Those most? Reflexes, Sir man. Kuruluvi, the traitor. Uh, their own life, of course. So I see that you've returned from the Belarusian front, Sir Bradley. The Knight of One. But why would they send Bismarck Waldstein here? Anya, a foolish question. Obviously, the Black Knights will invade Area 11 first. My apologies, Your Highness. Well, so you're the vampire of Britannia. Yes. It's a shame we're not on a battlefield, or I could savor your blood as well. Pity. Huh? 
Mount the player onto the Lancelot. Well, the intention was for Suzaku to pilot the Gurin, but... The Gurin? <laughs> it's a good thing we followed all zero, isn't it, buddy? It sure is. By the way, where's C2? I heard that she was still feeling ill. Morning sickness, huh? Congrats to Papa Zero! <laughs> Sir, after this current situation is over, huh? I'd like to propose a request to Kyoshido Toto that... Sorry I'm late, but the truth is... We're all here. Let's go. It's our day to change all of the history books, right? Tokyo's we fine. are coming yeah, alive we're... to you right over Horai Island. They're forming a union of nations, just as you said. But the militaries of each country will never be able to work together. They'll just be an unruly mob. No, there is an option. All ratifying nations do now declare to abandon native military power forever. <gasps> Abandon military power. Are they mad? To guarantee security, member nations have agreed to employ a fighting force not affiliated with any one country. They have contracted the Black Knights. We hereby accept. And with that, I shall put forth the first motion. Japan is being held by an unjust foreign power, and the USJ have asked for our help to free them from this occupation. I request that the Black Knights be dispatched at once. All those in favor, please stand up. UFN Resolution Number One: The Black Knights shall now go forth to liberate Japan. Hear me, Shiro. What? <laughs> the system's hacked, coming in from 14 external paths. Zero. You thought this foolishness would surprise me? Impossible. He's still alive. The situation is very simple and clear. For in the end, whoever succeeds in this battle shall gain control of the entire world. All hail Britannia! Unlive Japan! And the hurt on the inside. How's it healed? You just think of... Some friends. Huh? Exactly right. A friend is always there. I'm here. <laughs> it's Lelouch. I know. Um, so... Have you seen the news? About Area 11 becoming a battlefield again? Yes. The Tokyo settlement. It'll be in danger? Depends. On your decisions. Uh. Lelouch, are you zero? <gasps> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> now tell me why an enemy of Britannia is calling. Help me. Please save Nanali. Uh, Suzaku! Protect her! It's Nanali! My heart's begging! Very well, then. <laughs> However, one condition. I will protect Nanali, but you must come to Area 11 by yourself, where she is. The place will be the Kururugi Shrine. The two of us meet there, alone. Season 2, Episode 16 in the books. What'd you think? A uh, good, good episode. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a... One of one of those kind of uh, transitional episodes yes. where like things are being set up, things but some things are being resolved. Right. Yeah, and then of course, like classic Code Geass, we don't get any of the interesting shit until the very end. Right. Of course, <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, we're used to that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is like, I guess at this point, it's starting to set up in game. Yeah. Right. Like we're starting to see it's start yeah i think that the little credit the credits like sequence happening in the middle of like or, you know not in the middle but like at the end of the episode like that yeah. but like still continuing on it's like yeah we're definitely at the end of of this little arc and there's there's one more left and that's right. pretty much it yeah um okay so we start the episode schneisel has informed everyone that the emperor is missing mm -hmm. he's disappeared um, Lelouch believes he's gone and still trapped in the other realm. Yeah. And he begins to operate under that assumption. Mm -hmm. uh, he now has no one to stand in opposition to him and what he wants to do. So he enacts the next part of his plan, which is to set up the United Federation of Nations. My son was calling. 
but you saw that. This is more important than my son. Interesting. Son, if you're watching this, just kidding. I love you. <laughs> but I'll talk to you later. But also, don't, don't ever call. But don't call on a Friday night. You know we're recording. <laughs> Um, okay, so United Federation of Nations is going to be a chartered group, apparently, of 47 nations mm -hmm. that are basically going to operate like the UN we currently have, Yeah, <laughs> which they have resolutions, they are all giving up their native military power and going with a centralized force, which will be the Black Knights. Privatized military. Exactly. Interesting. Very Interesting. Um, and then the way they describe it is, you know, yes, like, it's like a domino effect. Like, the more freedom they are able to extract for their member nations, the more others will join their cause and, yeah. and will expect it for their own so that they can all, you know, extricate themselves out of these occupations and things like that. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely in line with... What most of these people would want. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we also got, let's see, we got Anya. Got a moment there where she reveals that these diaries that she's been keeping, she can't remember information out of them. Yes. So definitely she's, seems like her memory's been rewritten by the definitely Emperor. definitely been rewritten, yes. Um, maybe more than once. Probably. Um, we got Sir Bradley. The Knight of Ten, the genius. genius of Homicide, and the Vampire of Britannia. <laughs> yeah. Quite a lot of titles. It makes me want to give up my own title, dude. I definitely want my own title. I mean... I feel like it needs to be given to me, though. I feel like I have to... Yeah, I don't think we can come up with our own. It's right. just like you can't give yourself a nickname. Exactly. It has to be bestowed upon you. Mm. But... I this, this guy gets two... I guess then, by the end of Code Geass, by the yeah. end of this series, I'll come up with a title for you. Okay, I'll do the same. Okay. <laughs> Should be interesting. Um, yeah, Knight of Ten. So he's very cocky, even though he's like on the he's lower th end. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. I don't know. Uh, Nina, of course, wants Suzaku to take her A-bomb to Area 11 and kill all the Japanese. Yeah. Still hate her. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't say I don't understand because I get it. She has... I mean, yes and no because it's like you, you, you were obsessed with Princess Euphemia and you... No, no, no. I understand why you hate her. Oh, okay. I thought you were taking <laughs> Not her. that I don't understand. No, 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 no. I understand the hate. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No, she doesn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> she's, she's, she's I was about to play becoming a advocate. genocidal maniac. <laughs> I was about to play devil advocate for basically Hitler. Well, and say, listen, I get it. Like your princess was killed, and like you're taking revenge on the people who did it. But again, that's a secondary like influence. Like that wasn't even directly on you, right? So I'm like, what? Have, what have Japanese done to you? Again, they made her afraid. Yeah. Well, and then our our viewers, the lovely viewers, have told us that there's like compendium stuff like yeah additional content to code yes sure. there's some story there's a backstory with her sure listen it might be canon but i i haven't seen it so i don't know i mean even if it is it doesn't it doesn't justify the genocide <laughs> of an entire exactly, race right? like she's taken it to the absolute extreme yeah and she's being like pushed there by schneisel yeah so yeah man Mm. Um, I have a note here. Where is Valletta? Yeah, if Ogi shows up and he seems to be okay. I thought for a second maybe Ogi was wearing a mask. Maybe it I was mean, maybe it is. Uh, Psycho, but then we saw her later. No, she's definitely, it's not her, but it could be anybody, apparently. It could be Valletta wearing a mask. Now that would be an interesting thing. Valletta pretending to be Ogi. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, where is she hiding those tits? Right. Because that ain't happening. How is she pulling off yeah, the other manly there's no. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. That stretches the <laughs> the balance right. of credibility. No, I know more everything. than anything else in this show. No, I mean you're right. So no, it's definitely not her. I feel like it's it is Ogi, but I don't know. Do you think him and Valletta made up? 
and that's why he was late is because he was pounding. I mean, maybe. What do you think she was pounding? I mean, she does seem like the kind that would. Amazonian style, right? Of course. Um, Go look it up. <laughs> don't look it up. Go look it up. But at least look it up on like a private browser. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> Open up your Tor browser. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, we're kind of like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. So Last we saw, they were both about to die. They were die. about to die. They were falling off a fucking cliff. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? But yes, I mean, we saw Sayoko, so she's back and fine. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Valetta's dead. I don't think so. Nah. No, I feel like the artist of this manga, this show, yeah. would pay greater respect to those tits than to just have her disappear randomly. Well, in episode. I mean, you would, you would hope so. Yeah. You know. Speaking of tits, oh, Colin. Well, yeah. In that dress? I mean, sure. Yeah, okay. of course. No, I'm, into it. Uh, I'm not. I like know, it. It's fine. Though. I like it. I'm just saying. I'm into it. I liked watching her beat the shit out of Suzaku. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, smacked him around. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then speaking of Suzaku, uh, Lelouch finally reveals, calls him up, and reveals to him that he is indeed Zero. He's got his memories back, and then proceeds to beg him to protect Nanali. Beg. He begs. Yep. And Suzaku says, fine. But. On one condition. You meet me at Kururugi Shrine in Area 11. Yes. Where I assume they're going to face off in a duel. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I wrote. Mono y mono. Yeah. So maybe we'll be getting that big dust up way earlier than I would have expected. But, yeah, I mean, I guess we could get, you know, you get a resolution if he kills Suzaku. Because Lelouch has to make it to the end of the series. Like, he ain't going to die fighting Suzaku. No, he'll, I mean, I, th- I still think he's going to die at the end. But, probably yeah, Suzaku's not going to die here. I think Suzaku makes it to the end. I think, yeah, because I mean, like the only outcome, the only two outcomes are either he fights, they fight, and Suzaku dies, yeah. or they like fight for a moment, but then they have like some sort of yeah, something's gonna happen. Yeah, and they, I think maybe the Yuffie stuff comes out, the Gia stuff, come, like all the truth comes. out. Yeah, that's out. what I'm thinking. I think more than anything, it's gonna be they're just gonna hash it all out. It's gonna be a yelling match, yes. basically. But it's, because it's we know in a physical confrontation, oh, Lelouch is dead. Lelouch is dead. Yeah, we we literally just saw Suzaku catch a goddamn thing being thrown at him, and he can't gios him again. That is true because he still has the active. That, that is true. Hmm. Yeah, because he wasn't canceled out by Jeremiah. Was Not he? yet, but Jeremiah could. Could all he has to do is be like, okay, I'll meet you by myself. True. And Jeremiah just has to be within his sphere. Ooh, could the could Jeremiah cancel out the emperor? That's what I said. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Okay. But yes, I, I mean, I that, that's what I think. I think we're finally going to get Suzaku and Lelouch getting it all out in the open. Having the conversation that they've needed to have this entire fucking series. Exactly. Yeah. Which, I mean, they kind of did in the very, very beginning. They had that conversation before yeah. he became like zero. But that was, so that was basically a philosophical confer- like com- conversation. Right. But that was, that was like the setup yeah. for what it, like what is eventually going to become the like, no, now we need to, this is no longer philosophical difference. No, exactly. This is, like, this is these are the actions that have happened. Yeah, we need to discuss them. Yeah. So yeah, that's and what I come think. to some sort of agreement, if possible. If maybe possible. not, I don't know. Maybe I something. I mean, we. I. I don't think Suzaku is gonna. He's not gonna care if Lelouch meant to do it. He still did it. Yeah. Like he geosed her. But and see, then he fucking shot her. 
See, part of me thinks like Suzaku's going to be the one to kill Lelouch in the end, because I think that would be very poetic. I mean, that would make sense. But he also doesn't seem like he can kill. So it's like, is Lelouch going to finally be the one that pushes him? Could be. Or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe he tries to like heroically save Lelouch from being killed by someone else. And that's their I mean, that's more in his character. That's their redemption moment. Right? It's like, even though you've done all these horrible things and pissed me off, I'm still going to save you in the end. Right. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But first step on the train to the end. Yeah. Although trains don't take steps. Mm, no, they take stops. Hmm. First stop on the train. <laughs> yeah, that works. Sure. Uh, did you have anything else? No, nah, I think that's all I got. All right, well, that's going to do it for episode 16. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Or, well, not next week. Why do you do that? Because I'm used to fucking podcast format of like once a week stuff. We'll guys, see you guys in three days. We'll <laughs> see you in the next Code Kiosk episode. <laughs>